Yeah, I know that. Brad's playing, uh, set your course. Set your course. Two decks built to be Joe. Sounds like we're gonna get the top four right here. Oh, we are. Hello, Charlie. Hey, how you doing? Who's uh, is Eric here too? <clears throat> Indeed. Okay, you're gonna make me actually play with the computer here so I can change up some names. That's a bad idea. <laughs> um, yeah, I I think I heard we're getting Joe versus that is, Brad. That is correct. We're getting Joe versus Brad. Brad. I will wait now that I see how to do this. Okay. Alright, so it looks like Brad's up top. If you guys uh, weren't aware, a um, couple months ago, Jeff reached out to Joe about how to get better at Star Wars, and he's sort of become Joe's Padawan. Yeah, no, we do. I was definitely aware. I don't know if anybody else was or not, but he, he's definitely shown marked market improvement. Is that how you say that? Marked improvement? There's been improvement. I think it's market, um, but written marked. Yeah. Do I? Do you guys know if I'm supposed to be like saving anything or it's just recording? Uh, no, it should just be recording. It's all getting uploaded. So. All right, cool. Um, so one, you know subplot is it if they both win get to the finals then we'll you know padawan versus master matchup excellent that would be great we got a root for the padawan right i yeah. think so we got a storyline and then uh beef red said that he's you know he was just trying to get back into the game i think he took a little bit of a pause not yeah. really up to playing online and very impressive showing on his part to did he end up seven and one and then or uh yeah i think he was seven and one he was number one seven seed. and one and he his only loss was with his verge i think and he won three other games with it so i'm excited to see that deck list and this is uh this is brad's first top eight since um 2001 is that like the longest break between top eights ever it's gotta be, right? Yeah. That's longer sure. than like Bastion. Twenty one years. <laughs> so the other matchup is Jeff versus B Fred? Yeah, so we're getting Brad and Joe on stream now, and then Jeff versus B Fred will be happening off stream. Do you know what uh B Fred's decks are? He's playing C C T and Yoda commuting, I think. Were they not posted? Uh, I would assume somebody would have posted them. Oh, they might have been. I haven't been on the forums. How did your uh, games go? Uh, I lost both games. Joe had a lot of answers for what I was trying to do. Um, I put a, a couple... Spicy cards in the no idea today. I mean, I played the same decks with like five cards different or something. So I was actually hoping to run into Rops. Not hoping, but like was fine running into Rops. Um, mm -hmm. but Joe was playing double close call, which really threw me off. Um, and he grabbed my close call canceller, which is unfortunate. Um, I had my concussion missile, but I wasn't able to shoot down the Emperor's shuttle. Um, did, you, did you close call the. No, I just there? missed it. Um, he close called something else. And then I saw in his hand I had a I lost Jin, so I saw in his hand he had a second close call, so I had to play around that one too. Um, I was able to set up a seven, and I did shoot down whatever Star Destroyer was, Vengeance, I think, eventually, but it's too late. Fun. Hey, Bill, have you uh, and even bigger news? Have you seen the trailer for the new Star Wars Lego game? I have not. <laughs> There's a new trailer. Well, there's a new Star Wars Lego game. It's just well, I didn't even know that either. So, <laughs> yeah, it's the Skywalker Saga. It's uh, I actually bought it last night. <laughs> oh, nice. You did? <laughs> yeah, I got it for my Switch. Yeah, I got a Switch too. It looks so sick. That's yeah, fun. I play. You can play all nine movies. <laughs> yeah, basically, it goes through the entire movies. I'm pretty sure there's only seven movies, guys. Seven and <laughs> seven and Rogue One. I'm going to take like a two-minute break before this starts. All right. 
Yeah, my, I just got my copy yesterday, and I haven't had a chance to play it because I've been uh, streaming. Because you've been doing this all day, putting in the work. Yeah. You walk Adventure the Seventh. <laughs> I'm alright with that. My Luke minifigure? What is that? Did I get like a, a Lego piece in my box or something? You were supposed to get one? That's pretty cool. I was trying to get the limited edition one. Um, I don't even know what it's what's in it but it was sold out and i, I bought from gamestop because <laughs> <laughs> because the moon. Viral mar marketing scheme finally paid off <laughs> all right so this one is joe and brad looks like joe is playing dark first uh the other matchup is jeff and brian fred what jersey is uh brad wearing I couldn't. That looks like a TB12, right? Oh, it's a Bucks jersey. I thought it was a Bears jersey. No, definitely a Bucks jersey. He's definitely a Bucks fan. Is he from? He's not from Florida. I thought he was like from Carolina. He lives in Florida, I think. All right, so Joe here starting standard Rob stuff. I'm um, using the Moment of Triumph for Imperial Rest Order combo and or shield, and that is Insignificant Rebellion. Brad, starting with uh, Yoda Communing, has Jedi Business, Walkling, and Squadron Assignments. So I did play against Joe's ROPs. Um, it looks like a pretty standard ROPs. I would say it's pretty close to what he ran at the uh, in the, the Gempy C Top 8. I know that list is posted already. Um, I don't know if you have any idea what he's changed since then, Eric. Um, I know he's running the two close calls. Yeah, I I think it's similar to what um, I don't know what he played at the game PC, but I think it's similar to what like Desai and NHT yeah. have been playing. Kind of like wow. a, a standard ROPS with uh, ROPS list with like three or four emperors. Yeah, I think it's four. Okay. Um, I think Desai and some other people have been even running like five. That's crazy. Um, I think well, it's drawing, drawing sixes is really good. That's fair. But I did feel you, like did you ever go ahead. Did you ever play with or against um the seven emperor ISB deck I, I was playing like <laughs> years ago? No. Seven. Yeah. Um you basically just wanted to play Emperor for free to your two O. Okay. And then um, move him to, like, the Coruscant docking bay to then the Death Star docking bay. And then uh, you use drop. You started drop, and you would put down your extra Emperors that you drew. And you would also take Force Lightning into hand and put it down so you could, like, know what was in your Force Pile every turn. Okay. Uh, but other than that, it was just, like, you played Veers um, to draw two Destiny and Walkers and... You just you just win battles, retrieve ISP agents, and draw sixes all the time, and you play like three tramples. Is um, I think myself and Joe played it when we like when was that two in like 2020? We both qualified for the OCS playing that. Nice. And they and the reason like seven emperors, it's it's sort of like playing like Wisa or Speak because he himself with established seeker base is a Twix. Okay. Uh, and he deploys for free. Unless they play the shield. And then, except the difference is that he's Destiny 6 instead of 5 and 4, and then you could just retrieve him with enforcement. I do remember that a little bit now, now that you say it that way. Um, um, Joe's uh, starting effects are unsleeved. He had a couple sleeves that were not quite marked, but slightly different, I think. So I think he's just been asked to do that. Oh, yeah, I think it's a similar. Um, idea of running five emperors where you just he helps your activation right you're, you're always going to get you're always going to get him in hand so you can always go to space with the sun pulling the shuttle and right. then gets one more activation so you can actually cut a second you know some people would maybe use two one oh docking bays and you can just get by with just the executor docking bay yeah so he's effectively a destiny six one oh yeah who's just gonna you're gonna retrieve right an exchange for for good characters and such. 
Also with Ozzel, you just have an admiral in space there too. So yep. For free. Are you ready for you, uh, you eating yep. something there, Charlie? Chill. Mm -hmm. All right, chill out a little bit. They're gonna get ready to go. Joe just came Milkless. to to check on me in the in the closet here. Milkless scrambled eggs. That's what I'm having. It's like a, a lot of milk with a little bit of scrambled egg mixed in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like steamed milk. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, I know that Brad... Try not to play Brigham. We uh, rapid fire Brad, and a yeah. wedge. Oh. What a hand. Rapid fire, wedge in his ship. Um, Camino, he's got a stick. He's like no characters, just R2. It's kind of a bad hand, but also he can shoot Emperor pretty fast. I mean, Joe's playing two close calls too, so you gotta watch out for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you just need to draw a four. A four. Yeah. I think he also might be playing in dark maneuvers. I don't think I saw one. I also wouldn't and be would, surprised if he was playing at Dark Time, either. Do you think he's playing Mitt? He's not playing Mitt. He's playing uh, Thrawn Virtual. Okay. So we, we interviewed Brad yesterday. Um, he played this on stream against Clay's Rot. Okay. And just He crushed demolished. it, right? Yeah. yeah. I, I think Clay wasn't making quite the right plays. Um, I think Joe is going to be playing his Rot a little bit more tightly. But uh, yeah, Brad was explaining that he thought the deck was um, designed to beat Walkers and Shadow Collective, and then he felt like a lot of the cards just happened to to be pretty good against Rops, um, can Cannons being one of them. For sure. Yeah, I was actually really surprised to see Joe still playing the the Thrawn V because I know a couple people were running multiple space weapons yesterday. Yeah, yeah, it's hard because he's such a good ground character in the deck. Like, yeah, that's true. Phenomenal. Works with your out your commands. Draws on its yeah. own. Stuff like that. So. And that's one of the other things um, about this new version of ROPS. I think they're playing a few more commands than you typically see, just because people really want to grab close call, or they really want to grab trample. Yeah, or even like uh, I know MHT was running Sephir Stun too. That's I definitely played a second grabber both days, just in case I saw Rops because I wanted to grab Sephir Stun and something. I had to close call command trample. Mm -hmm. So in the the last time we saw him on camera, I think Clay didn't put his system out right away or yeah didn't he wait to put Ariadu out or did he not wait play I think he didn't he waited but I think he just missed it because he did play it eventually So Joe not really doing anything here, just just gets out docking bay, got two raw tier sites, and then Ariadu out. Yeah, Brad's gonna get what? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight force to start with. Seven force. This is much harder when Gamut doesn't tell me. I wonder if he'll just put Wedge out right away. Mm, no. He won't have enough force, I think. He's got oh. seven. Yeah, but he'll want to save for, oh, a, for a cannon, for yeah. He did, against um, Clay, he did put Luke out turn one and used up all of his force. I, I mean, the difference there is that Luke can pull Dark Lighter and get his other space out. So is that yeah. Malastare or is that Camino? 
Camino. Okay. No, that's Malastare and Malastare. Camino. That's Malastare and a Camino 2 0. Yes. Okay. So he's he just open handed it too. Oh, he's yeah. got a uh, Camino in his hand. I saw it. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. Better safe than sorry, Bastion. You got your inner sleeve for your inner sleeve. Just wait till we get the top loaders going. And you're just quad sleeving. Actual quad sleeving. So Brad drew his entire hand, or entire force pile. I've actually played one of my, back in the day when I could play in junior tournaments, I remember playing, there was one guy here in Massachusetts who sleeved his entire deck in top loaders. More this thing than anything they're going to hear anything I say. We, we Uncle, Uncle like Matt Thornton's here. Where I... <laughs> We had some, someone where I played too, Minnesota, that used all those, those big sleeves. It was wild. It took him like five minutes to shuffle his deck. It's, it's got to be so easy to mark your cards with that too, though, right? Because of their position within the top loader. Yeah. Yeah, you could manipulate them quite a bit, I think. Who was running the inner sleeve shadow so that we got to see the card back? Sirson. Yeah, that that looked great. Mm -hmm. hmm, I'll have to check that out. He's not playing today, so. I don't think you can do that with light side, but I'm not sure. Because the set, the different sets look completely different. You got that premiere, a few maneuvers in there. Track your six around. Yeah, Brad's deck does look enormous. All right, so Joe, this turn, using surface defense to get enforcement, did not get another Raw Tier site, um, but does play Piet, pulls Desane, Desane, whoever he is. Oh, there's Ryan. What was your record yesterday, Taco? I was six and two. You've been on a tear recently. I right? have. Went... I lost more games in the last two days than I've lost all year. That's crazy, man. That's 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 really great though it's really just you know what it is is i played against joe because i lost four games total this weekend right and three of them were to joe wow yeah we'll play here gin and kit fisto kit fisto got joe. barriered though mm -hmm. yeah that's an a ai gin a battle i think i think you do i think he did yeah draws a one it gets jedi left that's a great card to and see. That's demotion? Wow, that is demotion. a demotion. So Jin will go lost. Brad will get to look at Joe's hand. Yeah, I'm wondering if you actually just don't draw deaths. Oh, I guess you don't want to... I could see not drawing Destiny. Like, it's just so expensive to move them. Yeah, because Brad and doesn't Joe's play his own docking base, right? And Joe's hand is just enormous. I don't know if you really want to give up that information. Yeah, I think... Mm, yeah, I don't know. It would be a pesky during a war in the rest of the game if he gets too bad, which he probably will. Well, what is he going to do about Kit Fisto? I think you just move away from him. You just let him... Oh, yeah. Well, that's the answer, thing. Just drain one. Yeah. True. So Joe pull in a shuttle here with Dasani. I was playing um, a game the other day, and uh, my opponent had Executor out and Executor Docking Bay, and it was allowing me to land at the Docking Bay with a 
ship at the same system as the executor. That's weird. I didn't think that was a thing you could do. I think it is. But I'm not 100% That's pretty cool. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can... I think I've heard... Someone was talking about it. I think Sam was talking about hyper-escaping onto the executor docking bay. Well, we were, oh, but we were trying to... Do we were trying to play hyper escape to land at a docking bay to satisfy battle plan or battle order. Yeah. But you can't do that though. <laughs> I think you can only move using hyper speed. You can't, yeah. you can't land or take off. Oh, with hyper escape. Yeah. You have to use your hyper speed. I thought I just said move away at normal or. I think you have to use hyper speed. I think this actually came up and I, some, like I saw a ruling on this recently. It, do it doesn't say anything about needing to use hyperspeed, but it must be a ruling. If it... So Kieran asked in chat, and sorry if I get your name wrong, I cannot pronounce it, um, if it was worth the attack. I think if you get Kit Fisto through there, it probably is, because you're, you're bigger power, you might make him lose the uh, the Dasane as well. And I think that would be worth it. But when he got barriered, I think you just take the one-to-one -one trade. Yeah, I don't think it was uh, it was worth it at all. No, I mean, so he was playing Jedi business. If he's playing Jedi lightsaber, and maybe he was like, "All right, I'll I'll pull lightsaber, put it on Kit Fisto, and then battle in like in um sorry, yeah, then it was worth it." But if if his plan is just like I'm going to have this power against his two guys, it doesn't really seem that great. I mean, effectively, half of Joe's space is pulled by Dasane, right? Because you have the, the two shuttles, the, the Vader shuttle and the Emperor shuttle. Mm -hmm. um, and that, if you force him to draw into those rather than pulling those, I think that might be worth it, especially if you're a space deck. But maybe with the cards in his hand, it, it wasn't. He had a lightsaber in his hand. So I assume he just didn't deploy it because he got buried. Yeah. <clears throat> Killing Dasani is definitely worth it if you can, but yeah. Matt Thornton is uh I don't know if you could see him in the shot. There he is, he's in the shot a little bit. He's uh he's gonna call out some cards for us. Huh? What? What's happening? Matt is sitting next to the table and is also in the chat, so he can text cards into the chat for us. Oh, okay. Cool. Presumably, he's listening on mute. <laughs> so Blizzard 8 came down to a docking bay that also came down from hand. Fifth Brother came down to uh, the street. Maybe the Prefect's office. Those look the same. Um, and Ozl goes down to the city. And then everybody consolidates to, that is, the street. Check my yeah, slack. Oh boy, am I giving I something away? I don't like that brother. Please do giveaways. He's pretty good against no idea, but... I just feel like... And Gimp boosters. He's two -edged sword. He's, the, or, he's, uh, he's what? Just a double-edged sword because, like, um, he cuts off your corporate bonuses. So Ozzel would all be his. Well, he's at the street, but like, you get up all your plus ones. Yeah, for the prefects office and stuff. Right, so In the top eight of the NPC, I, I was able to clear my opponent's sight because he had my health. Because they had him out? Yeah. He had, like, expanded the Empire, so all of his characters would have been forfeit plus three. But instead, they, were just, they had no forfeit bonuses. That's pretty crazy. All right, so it looks like Anakin with a generic Jedi lightsaber. There's Wedge to the docking bay with his ship. 
Do you think he played the plus one? It is being active judged, so Phil's been doing a pretty good job of catching things. I think Joe's asking him about it right now. The ship would be, what, three, and then wedge is three two. minus two plus one. Yeah, it would be five. Five and five. Um, I think the fifth brother is good going off-site, but it just feels like such a double-edged sword that I'm... I'm. He's one of the um, characters that I cut. You cut him? Really? Yeah. I think you, my I would 100% play him. I, I think it's crazy enough that a lot of these lists are not running like Min and Kier, who are just fantastic support characters. I understand the fact that they don't draw on their own, but... They're just very good characters. And you always have at least three characters that don't draw on their own anyway with um, Ozil, Piet, Dasane. So, like, they match up pretty well with those guys. Yeah, Kier's insane. Yeah. All right, Jared told me I should give things away. So have you guys given anything away yet? We tried. We okay. did give a few things away. Well, I have a... What do I have? I have... I think it was a GIMP AI pack. I should double check before I actually say that. I'm sure he'd be fine if I gave away a GIMP AI pack anyway. A GIMP booster pack. How do we want to give that one away? Um, the first person to name the three decks, the last three decks that uh, Joe played in the top eight of Worlds. Oh, wow. You have that on hand? <laughs> yeah, I, I, right. I know. Cool. We so will... 2001, two thousand one, two. Or 21, 20, and 19. I tell you what, I'll tell you what, that one is worth more than a GIMP pack. That one's worth a Ray AI foil. That's a good prize. Get those Googling fingers out. Kendall, I actually would love a light side Min Kainu, just to like put something out of play and pull a shield. He did exist. Saw. They nerfed him though. Oh, Min Kainu? Yeah. Alright, is Black Sun, Hunt Down V, and Rops, is that correct, Eric? Um, we're missing 19. You said the last three, right? Oh, okay. 20. We have, we have 20. I see 21. I see 20. We're missing 2019. Kieran thinks it was Rops. Changes his guess. Imperial Entanglements, Black Sun, and Hunt Down V. It was IE. All right. So Kieran has Ooh. won a a Ray AI foil from this weekend. Um, exclusive to this tournament, as far as I know. So Jared will send that over eventually. Yep, that's right. Diplo and IE against Bastion in uh, some crazy games. I remember seeing pictures of the board state. I think uh, there were like 10 locations on table or 14 locations on table and everyone was occupied by a character. Um, and then he played Hitko and Hunt Down. Naturally, because just and about Hunt everybody did. <laughs> yep. And then he, uh, and then he played um, Ages of Black Sun in uh, Quiet Meaning. So we do have some action here. Uh, Joe came down with Blizzard 4, pulled Veers with the, the pull, and then also had, uh, that is uh, Tarkin to add a Destiny. Drew a 2 and a 4. That's going to kill Anakin, and Tarkin's going to go to Lost Pile as well. Interesting. Just 
starting off pretty slow. Just uh, yeah, very seeing methodical. Who can, seeing who can establish dual presence, dual theater presence first. Yeah, if you're Joe, I think you have to like how this has gone so far. You have Brad give up uh, Jin and Kit Fisto, and now you've killed an Anakin and a Saber. Um, you've pretty much only given up one of your Tarkins that you can exchange back for anyway. Right. And you've got a decent board presence now. You've got Veers on a walker. You've got another walker out there for some big power. And you're able to move your guys around it to the, the via the street. I think I'd throw the two scrubs in the B4 and then the brother by himself. And then Blizzard Blizzard eight over. So he moves instead. He's gonna put the brother on Blizzard four. Well why not go to the And two scrubs on the Blizzard eight. Is there a reason behind not going to the prefix office early? <clears throat> Are you just saying move the whole walker there, or? I mean, it's free, right? Yeah. So he could... Well, it's not really adding anything except at the prefix office, because it's not going to add to the fifth brother. He can't be increased because of his own text. Oh, he can't flip anyways, what am I saying? I mean, he, is fine. he, oh yeah, he couldn't have flipped. Yeah, I kind of, you're thinking moving the, that stacked blizzard to the prefix and then the other one to the street. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think that would have been better. Just because you get all the bonuses for like all four characters. Well, the, the brother would stop it, but at that Just site, in his sight, right? But you turn it on per Tarkin, which seems worth it for that turn. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, Bastion, I sent you a, a Slack message. Um, I'm trying to get a uh, trivia for another prize giveaway. I was hoping you could help me out. Kid Fisto yeah. is free. Kid Fisto's free. Wow, he, he knew exactly what he was doing that turn. Kid Fisto moves over there Luke. for free? <laughs> Drops Luke, pays Kid Fisto. No, I just said he is Oh, he's free. free. <laughs> <clears throat> it's kind of like being in jail and paying. You have to pay like a, a bail to get out. All right, so Luke to uh, Araidu, and then Kit Fisto transits and gets a saber. What is up with you, cat? <clears throat> that was a quick turn. Brad's a quick player. <laughs> Does Brad play any other X-Wings? I do not know the answer to that. Would you think there's more? So maybe like a Red 8? I don't think there would be. Because... Or a... Uh, uh, what is it? BB-8 in Black Squadron 1? Yeah, I don't... I just can't imagine there is another one. But there could... Uh, I think he plays a Falcon... Yeah, someone in the chat said that, uh, oh, Matt said that BB-8 in Black Squadron 1 is in his hand. Uh, Matt probably has his headphones in. That makes way more sense. Matt, I want you to secret service if you can hear me. There you go. All right. <laughs> Oh, Werfs has one too. Excellent. 
So how do you guys think? Oh, he's going to. Interesting. Okay, so he's going for a flip here. Did somebody in chat just said this, right? Like, was gonna put, uh, or maybe Charlie, were you saying this? You put the shuttle out. I didn't say anything, but yeah, okay. that's probably the right play. Joker King said it. Said it. Okay. That's the right play, though. You oh, there it is. <clears throat> yeah, this is why I was think wondering if it was another X-Wing. Because if if you don't think he has one, then you can move away, and then you're out of... You can just run away from the X-Wing cannons the rest of the game. We had two active judges for the top eight. So Phil was doing two games and Worfs was doing two games. And I think the chat was helping the uh, the actual stream game. And then this round, I think it is Worfs and Phil again. He's got five fours left. So time to shuffle around. I think this will be where he separates. <clears throat> he separates the fifth brother, puts Blizzard four by himself, itself. Oh, he battled. Oh. So he battled. The rapid fire gets sensed. That's uh very good for Joe. <laughs> that is helpful. I'm drawing a. Four and a two, I think that was. Yep. While Brad draws a five. Shuttle will be immune. Uh, all that matters is Wedge is going to die. And... Isn't Wedge immune? Wedge is not immune to... Was it six? It's, it's or was it four? It was six. Oh, he's quite immune. He's not yet immune, right? Yeah. Or no, is no he's, he's, he's yet immune. He's, he's good. He's good. Okay, so he is immune. I think nothing happened. <laughs> uh, Rapid fire got sensed. Yeah, besides that. Six. Yeah. Looks like Joe had to lose a force. Yeah, he's down a power, I think. So he loses close call, so he can swap it. <clears throat> Man, that space is stout with Yoda's hut, huh? Yeah, I played this for a bit, probably last summer. Um, it's it's really fun. It's just sometimes your deck craps out on you because you have so many low destiny guys. Especially if you're running it with like Mace and, I guess not Qui Gon. Well, yeah, Qui Gon. Yeah, Qui Gon, yeah. I mean, you can like reliably set up. A drain of two in space and a drain of two on the ground pretty quick. Um, B. Fred was telling me in his game against uh, Kyle that by turn two he had set up Luke at um, Camino and then like Qui Gon, Ray, BB 8, and Rose at the 3 2 or the 2 2. That's pretty nasty. So we can, like, if it gets going, it can get going. So now the best play would be B4 goes by its B4 uh, hmm. You gotta control 3 So you're gonna have to spend Well alright yeah, so, yeah no the blizzard yeah. 4 Should go over and then he moves this on First and then he flips And then he can move the other guy Yeah As long as he feels comfortable But he's not even going for the flip He has to cover every site to flip. Well, you could have. Otherwise, he just moves over one. You could have sent the two one. scrubs to the prefect's office for free. Then you get the fifth brother out, send him to the street for free. I guess you need. No. He, he was just worried about the two guys getting. Pulled yeah. Out of so I guess you could have done it, but that makes sense. And I think what's like often forgotten when people talk about ROPS is that it doesn't have to flip. You just do all of the cool things anyway, and flipping here does not save him any force. It just gets him an extra two to Battle Destiny. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and uh, the, the 
thing that's rough though is he's trading for three and retrieving one. Yeah. And that's something you don't want as Rops. Yeah, that's that's one reason I wasn't able to do anything against the Rops because my only damage was coming from one Stardust ping. And flipping doesn't reduce his <coughs> drain, so. Right. Alright, so Brad draining for one and two. What is all that force in his use pile? That is a great question. There's also like a demotion. Oh, I think he walk linked. Oh, he walk linked. For meditation, and he's playing the demotion from him, so he can't pull the demotion now, right? No. So he would have walkling for meditation and then pay two for demotion, but also drain. I don't know what. But drain for free, and then he's gonna battle. <laughs> it's wild. Sure isn't like jump. He. He used three to pull demotion. Oh, the the interrupt. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. He used. Uh... That is a turn. What's it called? We wish, we, we wish to board it once. Yeah. Joe's not happy with drawing those twos. Did you say he battled? He did battle. I thought he, he battled. He did battle, but shouldn't he have peeled? Oh no, he he canceled his game tech, so they were both power powers. six. Yeah. I hear Brian Fred from here. I'm locked in a closet, probably thirty feet from him. I still hear him. That guy. So drain a drain a or. Did he only drain two? Or did I miss two drain? Well, Brad's... Uh... Brad, Brad's lost pile is off screen, so I can't really see as he throws them in there, because it's, it's under the picture of Joe. Yeah, I'm in the same boat. Yeah. Wait, wait isn't the lost pile in the taped area? Yeah, that's what I think Matt just said something to him so we could see it. <laughs> hey. Okay, so he must have ditched a couple cards from hand, then top deck two. He is playing mid. He's playing both Thrones. Is he? Yeah, we see we see him in his uh reserve deck. Gross. So Yusain comes down to the Camino 2-0. -oh. Trying to see if I could find something to do for another giveaway here. I have so many things to give away. It's a sister. He's using the sister to hopefully get Mitt. <laughs> All right, I will give away. I will have Jared give away a Gimp AI pack 
to the first person that can tell me the number of players in today's consolation tournament. Which I'm not even going to lie to you, I don't even know if it's posted anywhere, so good luck. <laughs> You at least know the answer. I, I do know the answer. Brenderlin, <laughs> you cannot enter. Ryan Serson has the correct number. Of course he does, because he's in the, the EGP chat. 16 players for the Constellation Tournament today. That was the number I was looking for, was 16. So. Congratulations on your Jump AI pack. And I don't that that brother there feels like he's gonna do more harm than good. I I believe there were fourteen playing in game three. So he's just covering the drain and eating a drain of three. This is a decree V I think it's non V. Uh, you might be right. Also I know that was something that, that Joe was talking about. It's um against these uh communing decks that don't play any space, you can get to Ariadu and Ralatir and just shut off all their lightsaber bonuses. Mm -hmm. Projection from Camino. I mean I guess you like how this is going so far if you're Brad, right? Yeah. I think so. It's just feeling like it's... And I don't know that that's all due to what Brad is doing. I just don't love the lines that Joe is taking. Especially if you've got, you know, the barrier that we've seen every time somebody has come down. I think it's a matter of you don't want to match damage with your opponent as rel ops. Like right. You You'd... have to put a bit more to the table, so. So he's going to do four this turn, Joe is. All right, because he's going to drain one at yeah. Camino, two at Malastare, and one on Raltier. Is it locations or battlegrounds? I think it's just battlegrounds. Oh, I'm not even thinking about enforcement. Oh, sorry. Um, this is just I drains. Thinking about, yeah. I think for some reason. No. Oh. Doesn't it? Oh, I don't. Do you think Brad's running armed and dangerous to deploy Mace's <laughs> light saber? I'm he, he's that. running the rapid fire. I wouldn't be surprised. So draining for four here, like we said. Wow, he plays two rapid fires. Guns are good. <clears throat> so reserve deck of six and four, an emperor and a barrier. It's two destinies to kill that mace. That mace really wants a stick, doesn't he? Mace is what, four fit eight? Power six? Oh, no, he's immune. He's fully immune. Just kidding. You got Jedi business. <clears throat> yeah, but he could outpower mace. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's what he's going to try to do is draw both those destinies with Tarkin here and potentially a third character. <clears throat> the ninth sister. I don't think any of them are leaders that you can add with Tarkin, right? Nope. Uh, he has a this. What is that? Is that? He is sixteen power currently. Okay. He's just hoping for the. Well, it don't matter. He's gonna have probably. I mean, lose you're either twenty or you're twenty-two. Versus Mace, who's power six and a destiny, which even if you draw like a five plus one, right? You yeah. Count that. Yeah. 
And then hopefully, I mean, maybe you can flip this turn, but I still don't even know that it does anything for you. Yeah, I don't know. And Joker King points out he should have grabbed Close Call with his Destiny. Maybe he didn't have an interrupt he wanted to swap? Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't. Yeah, he might not have an interrupt in his hand. So that's 8, and that'll cover up to 8, and 8 is 16. And still have to peel a couple cards, right? We lost Poe. Yeah, Poe was 1. You swap it now. Yeah, I think they were just doing the math first. Was there no overflow there? That looks like they're doing they're moving on. No, there was overflow. He lost a couple. Did he? I missed that. I'm sorry. It's very shiny. Yeah. Yeah, see, Matt said one overflow. I did see Pogo lost. Five, plus four. Seven. Did they miss oh, the power? He's six, they... seven, eight, nine, ten power, right? Our mace was power six and then plus two from the objective. Okay. Oh, no, no, he's Yoda meaning. Yeah. Right? He's not power at any plus. He should have so been he's... 19. It should have been... Right, because they're power, each... It should be power 20, then power 8. I thought they were each 4 power. No, the ninth is 5. Oh, okay. So 4, 8, plus 5, 13, plus, plus 1 for each, 16. and So you'd be base 20, to mace is 6, plus 2 is 8. Forfeit 8? Yeah. 16, so you'd, I would have thought 3 more overflow. That's what I was waiting for. I think they just figured it out. Come on, guys. Know your cards. We got eyes in the sky, active judging. <laughs> Worf's got there. Our guy's got to do the secret service thing every time, though. <laughs> he's, he's slightly delayed. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> This is a big play. I think he's got a trample. Solo Chewy. He initiates well, battle, he draws a, destiny. Close call. close call. Yeah, subtract three, so it doesn't hit the walker, is what I'm thinking. Take a card, yeah. so only one destiny. Draws a four. That's just Ozzel. Draws six. Swap a close call back. It's way easier to play fast on GIMP because it does all those things for you. <clears throat> yeah, this Brad plays really fast. Like he he goes he like just mashes all his phases together sometimes. Yeah. So Ozzel goes for four. Solo goes for Brad. Chewie moves over. I feel like you want to get. I don't know why I would get rid of that brother. You just hate that brother. I do, man. <laughs> just mess with everyone's forfeit. I will tell you that Joe put that brother to my beach, just like put him on the walker at the beach. And I was just like, oh, okay, cool. I wonder why he's doing that. <laughs> I was very confused when I had to lose a third guy. Mm, yeah, that's brutal. It was the second time it happened, too, because he did that to me yesterday. He put down Chewy to my first light site, Chewy with a bowcaster. Like, he already had Luke and Anakin there. And I was like, oh, I wonder why he put Chewy down. And the next turn, he was like, I'll drain for five. 
I said, oh, that's why. Does he work in space? Who? Uh, the brother? Mm -hmm. I have no idea. I don't know how to pull anything up on yeah. this computer. He, he does. It's just at, we're at the location, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, here. All right, so we're in Joe's turn now, right? Because Brad took his turn in about eight seconds. Yeah, that was wild. He's playing 30-second Star Wars. So Joe's going to drain for 1-1-2-1. One, one, one. Things are looking good for Joe. I don't know if he loves how much... He's not going to win by much if he's going to win this game. There's Blizzard Scout 1 and Tarkin. Wow. So that's pretty that's, good. That's pretty good. So Blizzard Shut Scout down, 1 Chewie. will Tarkin... Or will cancel Chewie's text. Tarkin will add a destiny. And he should have, what, 6-4? <clears throat> yeah, there's a... 4-3. There. Or... Shuttle, you could have pulled that. Mistake. Jeez. Imagine this guy. <laughs> Draws the gun he needs, so he can chase them around. So Chewie goes for... Seven? Did you subtract one? Swapping a... Oh, he's retrieving an Emperor. Is the shuttle Destiny 2? Three. Three. His Does kid... the doctor say give yeah. him four plus one? Yoda's hut. Thank Wait. you, thank you, Kieran. Oh yeah, Yoda's hut. Now he spreads out, but doesn't flip. I mean, flipping doesn't do anything for him, because he's not going to cut that drain down at all, so why put yourself in danger of getting kicked out of space? Well, it does have this thing where you get plus one per Imperial at a rail up. Oh, that's that's pretty good. You should it's a little, little known text. <laughs> why are more people playing this? A lesser used part of the <laughs> seven side. <laughs> Definitely just a. I mean, like, he could have uploaded Vader shuttle and just. He had no force save. He wasn't worried about barrier, and that thing moves for free, right? So it would have cost him two. Just saying. He must have just been thinking about other stuff. Uh, Matt Thornton is Brian Fred at like the table closest to you, behind mm -hmm. you on your right? Because I hear him yelling about Duro. <laughs> That's an impressive voice carry if it is. <laughs> Daughter of Skywalker comes out to the street with Padme. Padme. And a battle is initiated. No response. No, doesn't even ask if he has a barrier. He just knows. <laughs> Tell on his face. Draws a sand for Destiny, so he draws a four, and he draws a six. And a five for attrition. Draws a five. That'll clear everything. So six clears Padme. Um, the five and the four will clear both. Joel's doing a swap, I believe. Swapping a Gick for a close call. I, I think, did Joe win that battle? Aren't aren't the rebels power minus one each at that site? Uh, I don't. They are at so the it street. Would, it would have been one, two, three, four, five, six plus destiny four, ten to it, Joe's five, eleven. Joe won that battle. It's well, they weren't correct. both. They weren't both rebels because one was Padme, well, right? Right, Padme is three. And then... Three, anyways. Yeah, it'd be three and three. All right, they heard that. Worf's is Worf's on the stream. They're just playing so fast. I'm not used to this. Yeah. Like some people play playing at the final tables this quickly. They just do it different on the west coast, I guess. 
Yeah, we gotta rush because things need to happen. Last two hours. <laughs> if I just laugh randomly, it's because I hear whatever Brian Fred is saying. <laughs> Alright, so they're, I think they're just ignoring that retrieve one, or they fixed it, whatever, so. I think get... they did fix it. Okay, yeah. we got Joe draining here for five again, one, two, three, four, five. So spending six force here. Oh, he's got Vader with lightsaber, right? Vader with lightsaber. Vader with lightsaber. Daughter Skywalker's worst enemy. He should have lost Totter Skywalker, not Padme. 6-6 six, six will hit. Something came down. Was it an Odin? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, Odin. The mess. There's Mitt for two. So eight. Seven, Seven. power. Retrieve one for Joe. <laughs> I'm surprised Joe didn't take that hand to reach. I guess he wants to battle the other side. Silver Glen, I think there's like 40 minutes left still. Yeah, they're playing like there's three minutes left, but they're ba barely halfway through. Kit Fisto's power five. Is that right? Who is? Kit Fisto? I think four or five, yeah. He's five, yeah. It might be six. No, he's five seven. <clears throat> so power Does he get five. a power bonus at underwater sites or something, or is his movement yeah. free? He's just he cheaper there. Minus. Yeah. He's he moves faster. Oh, he his land speed too. I'm surprised he's not using that text. It's pretty sick. Just warp around rail ops. Are the sewers in Agents of the Black Sun a um, underwater site? No, I think it's just underground. That is so good, that Yoda, the Yoda's hut text. Yeah. He draws a six, and Kit Fisto doesn't die. Well, he's 14 to nine, right? He has to peel five. Yeah, that's true. There but... he goes. Three, <clears throat> four, five. Is that, so Brad can't have a lot of cards left, right? Do you peel five there? Is that you keep your, your drains I alive? You, I think you have to. I don't think he has an option okay. to do that. Yeah. I think it looks like Joe only has one force left, so that's why he didn't retrieve there. Yeah, he has to save it for Blizzard 4. Yeah. Yeah, and I think he's just interesting. It's pretty safe, though, because I don't think Brad has enough to do Brad's much. Brad's got one, six. Two. Yeah. Yeah. And two cards in hand, neither of which looks impactful. It's R2 and Qui-Gon. I think Brad just didn't play risky enough in space. So drains two like and he one. Need, he needed to go after Retrieves it. one with Yoda, presumably. And it looks like Joe's about 10 or 11 cards left. All right, so two cards here to move in front of that drain of two. I feel like it's a few more than that. Why did Joe flip? Because he's no longer at Ral tier. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. He, and he did control three because he did it in the wrong order. He did it in the wrong order, correct. He, yeah. <laughs> Which is bad because... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, Kit Fisto pretty much dies. So if he moved Kit Fisto over first and then moved away from Raltir, Joe would not mm -hmm. have controlled three with Imperials and could not have flipped, right? Yeah, but if Joe has an Imperial, it, he just needs to put him to Blizzard Force. So. Right. So. Joe has 12 in Life Force to Brad's seven-ish. Uh, takes drains of one, 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 one. So he's got one card, one card. Oh, jeez, okay. One card, four cards, and one. 
keeping that Qui Gon in hand, <laughs> which he cannot deploy. <laughs> he has Matt Savrip um, somewhere in his deck. So. <laughs> yeah, but he lost the R two. Can't even deploy it for free. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. So one to battle there. Joe's gonna draw probably a five and add three to it, so an eight. I would imagine it's a six, but I don't know. Lots of five. No, he he, would, he flipped his deck. It was two interrupts. I think you want to play your used interrupt here, if you can. If you're Joe. Yeah. yeah. Does he like have if one? You could exchange for dark time or exchange for close call. Yeah. Well, I mean, you wouldn't be able to exchange for a used interrupt and play it before Brad presumably just takes the overflow to end the game. No, no, no. So if you take close call, right? You draw you draw your. Six, oh yeah. Okay. So I see what you're saying. Close call. Yes. Play it used. So that takes Joe to 13, I think, right? Because he retrieved one for winning the battle. And he has two cars in hand, so... And then Brad will draw up. So I think 13. And Matt can tell me if I'm wrong. 14. <laughs> 13, okay. 13, it's manageable. But, uh, let's see, the matchup... It, do we know what Joe's playing for the light side? Yeah, Joe is playing um, Funeral Pyre Mains against Brad, who will be playing uh, Set Your Course for Alderaan. What kind of Set Your Course for Alderaan? Uh, the kind that plays Maul in Ship and Black Sun Fleet and all kinds of crazy stuff that I'm excited to see on stream. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> That's interesting. We got ourselves an interesting game, then. Yeah, so 13... Reasonable. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go take a break for a minute. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm just gonna leave this here. You can perhaps hear Brian Fred yell. Yeah, we're, we're looking into uh, how the other game's going.
Are the um the cards spoiled that were uh, revealed this afternoon, uh, this morning? Yeah. Yeah. Are they like on the? I, oh, I don't think he has them uh, on a forum post or anything, but. I actually, I didn't catch them. Um, I only saw the ones at the end. Uh, there's quite a few. There's a couple of Wiss helper, Watcher Step helpers. Uh, there's a Hunt Down helper. <clears throat> there was uh, a new Wookiee and a new Wookiee ship. Um, some erratas. The erratas slip sliding away. And the plague tragedy of Plagueis effect, I believe. <clears throat> yeah, I think the watcher step. I really like Outrider. Uh, they have an Outrider V, um, and I like the watcher step helpers. Um, it's, I must be allowed to speak, comboed with restricted deployment, I think. That's an interesting choice. Yeah, and then they V'd Moss Eisley, so it's not as broken. And, uh, the new, the effect has a use pile pull, but it works with, like, Mirax, Talon Card, Mara Jade, and... Corin, who's now a smuggler. And I think the most important thing, to me at least, is that it works with Mirax base. So you can, like, turn one Mirax, Squadron Assignments, Pulsar Skate to Tatooine and get a use file pull, which makes the use file pull, like, just that much safer. There's um, two Dark Side cards that cancel a restricted deployment. They, it actually accounts for that. You can't, it says it can't be canceled. Then why effect. did they make it restricted to point? Um, I think it must be thematic choice. That would be my guess, but I don't. Yeah, I wish they were posted somewhere because I I kind of want to talk about them a little bit. Uh, Chris said in chat that he would post uh one of them if you wanted to talk about a specific one. Um, I don't know. Like, I still know. Any, I didn't know what the finalized cars look like, so I don't know which ones are worth talking about. I saw the, the. Okay, here's here's one. So there's a there's a new starting interrupt that lets you put a one zero that has a scomp link that's related to a location already on the table. So it works with QMC and it works with. Uh, it's not a one zero. Oh, it's a one. It has to have only one light side icon. So I think it works with Rescue the Princess. And they made a new Death Star location. So it works with Rescue the Princess V and with QMC. Oh, so it gives you a 1-0, and then you can also... Two, two uh, effects. Oh, that's interesting. So with QMC, you would... That effectively saves you a force. Yeah, it lets you start the 1-0. But you can't, I mean, like, if you played like you do now, you wouldn't play Walkling. So it's like a trade-off. Right, but you it doesn't cost a force to pull a location with um, yeah. MC. So, like, instead of paying the one force to save, to, to find the 1-0, it just, like, saves you a force, moves you, it accelerates you a little bit. I think that's a, that's a yeah. pretty cool change. Yeah. And they, and they made an effect that combines uh... A good blaster at your side with um it basically does ping damage and then it lets you pull blasters out of your deck or your lost pile is that for um is that specific to any objective or to any it it's not i don't think it's specific but it it's obviously for rescue the princess
that sounds that card sounds really interesting. Mm -hmm. I think the ping damage is only one though. I don't think you can do more than one, which is probably fine. Um, oh, uh, CCT got a helper, sort of. It got like a stunning leader that only works with fat. The ping is only for non unique blasters. Oh, that's interesting. <clears throat> Was there a CCT uh, nerf too with that new card? That I missed. It lost Stunning Leader. Okay. You can't play Stunning Leader in CCT now, but you get a one time cancel it battle. It cancels a battle one time? There's a new interrupt that just cancels a battle if Boba Fett is escorting a captive, I think. Alright, hello again. Hello. Um, I checked in on Brian Fred's game against Jeff. They have about 15 minutes left. I would say it's a very even match. Uh, Brian abandoned the audience chamber, so Jeff has control of that, but Scum is still on the table. Um, so I don't know if that's a new development or what. Weird. But definitely a close game. Uh, here in this game, I'm going to adjust some names and stuff. Is Pyre, Pyre is spelled with a Y, right? Yep. I'm glad the lawyer is checking my spelling. Taco Chill. Taco Cold is the Rockies. Did that save? Do I need to reload this to... Uh, Adjust the the deck titles there. If somebody in the chat could tell me, that would be great. Oh, Brad's is updated. Okay. They're both updated. Yeah, so this is definitely be an interesting game. Uh, Joe having won game one by thirteen. Is Joe using the new foil one? Do you mean Brad? Brad's the one playing. Set your course. Oh. Okay. Wait, I thought you said there was this was a like Black Sun Fleet deck. It is. <laughs> Apparently, that. that's uh, Jeremy played him round one. So he's playing Star Destroyers in Black Sun Fleet. Yep. You're lying to me. Uh, listen, if I'm lying to you, it's because Jeremy lied to me. Alright, we'll see. He mentioned he mentioned specifically Maul in ship with Black Sun Fleet and also much anger in him. Can uh can could we have someone move his three effects? Maybe I don't know, just like forward? Um I've Again. yeah, I'll go double check him real quick. No one abides by the tape. It's just lawless out here. We can see Brad's phone perfectly, though. Was that his phone? Holy cow, it's so... Can you tell a card that... Okay, it's quad driver. It's... All right. Uh, no, I can't... Oh, I can see his phone, yeah. So we got a million voices crying out. We got the new uh, Alderaan card. What is it called? Great question. Great question. <laughs> No, an effective hard. demonstration, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. And plot drive errands. Joe starting, like my father before me, Saitor and Walkling. <clears throat> so. The Black Sun Fleet thing just doesn't make any sense. Listen, I, this is what I was told. How much do you trust Jeremy? As far as I can throw him. <laughs> yeah. well, that's probably further than I could throw him, so... So he uploaded... Oh, 
that. <laughs> Primary ignition right away. And super laser. With, I think that's effective demonstration. It lets you... Or no, something lets you... Yeah, once you're getting me upload the super laser. So. Yeah, million voices pulls CPI. Um, effective demonstration pulls super laser. So he's playing Wisa and our only hope. Does he play um, the Jedi Council Chamber as well? He does, yeah. He's also running two um, battleground locations. The, the, the battle planes is, uh, and the Death Star the game in Okay. <laughs> Chris Ross informed me that the over-under on this game finishing is 25 minutes. Place your bets wow. now. That means I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need to give something away really quick. That's some activation. He got all his activation. And a Luke. So that's helpful. He's going to be draining for three. I can't imagine he doesn't have a... Uh, enter the Bureaucrat, though. Yeah. I would imagine. It's uh, So my understanding is that Batmouse helped him build this. So Anthony Howard helped him build this. And in facing Anthony's dark deck yesterday that is also space-based, he was running... Um, image and enter the bureaucrat. So I imagine Brad will be as well. Yeah, I think Joe is going to get out the Death Star 2 site, put a lightsaber at the um, docking bay. So you'll just drain two of the Death Star 2 site, drain two of the docking bay, and then drain up the uh, war room. Brad, or Joe is also running the um, battle planes as well. Oh, interesting. The... Um, one thing I'd be nervous about, like, I don't know if Joe knows he's playing much anger at him. Yeah, I, I doubt it. Would, um, you might, he, Joe might not want to put a rebel at the Death Star docking bay. Because of, um, Maul. Yeah. Maul can use the lose two force and then land and he can't be battled. I wonder if Brad's going to realize that. Because that's I, that's not something I would have thought about, is putting, what, Maul at the Death Star, moving him down. First losing two, and then moving him down. Yeah, so, so you block the drain, and then he can't battle into it, and then he has to lose, to lose four. It. Yeah, And you so, can do that every other turn. Even though he doesn't have text, he still can't participate in battles? Yeah, it's like the effect goes on the the mm -hmm. you can't battle into the ship right um that's a bizarre rules rule rule conundrum we've had several of those this weekend we always do i mean it makes sense it's just all right so i will be giving away first this game i will be giving away one of the tokens so you can Try to earn, uh, an, is it an entry into the, the sticker book thing? Um, we're going to make our token an effective demonstration. So message that to, I believe it's holotheater at starwarscg.org. Um, send that send that email over uh, for your, your entry for the sticker book token for this portion of the stream. And then Joe here on turn... Two, turn one, turn one. Um, able to get down Luke to the Death Star 2 site uh, with a saber and I believe a biotic hand? And he has three card hand. And then he just pulled it to the bureaucrat. Why would he play the bionic hand? Uh, I have no clue. Yeah, I. Maybe it's somewhat unknown what Brad's playing. Like, could, could he play something like a. Uh, uh, maybe he thinks he's playing like Maul to clear out some stuff. But even then, like, buying a can. Yeah. I don't, what I don't... are you afraid of, though, really, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah just, I, so... I, I don't like I, that. I was going to say, I don't I would... Probably would rather go to Death Star. But... Not Death Star 2. Alright, so Intimidator and Persecutor go to Jedha. I believe that is. 
we can shoot for a higher destiny. Draws one, says go. Look at that. That was <laughs> that was an absolutely <laughs> rapid fire turn. Did he move the Death Star? He might have moved the Death Star too. He did, yeah. Jeez. Sorry, I just looked at my phone for a second. You I missed died. the entire turn. <laughs> don't know what just happened. That was like under 15 seconds. All right, so Brad pulled the Enter the Bureaucrat. Obviously, Joe saw that. Uh, Joe only drained for two at the 2-2. Two -two. Has another speak to actually get the, the Council Chamber this time. Nice. He has his two-card hand. Uh, not Not ideal. Don't, one character, but Nate, that is not even a Gemp turn because on Gemp you have to wait for your opponent to say pass. Like, this is an IRL turn. This is an eight second turn. He's already shield busted. <laughs> it's, it's wild. It's great. I love it. More people should play faster. He needs the new uh, the new Parsec counter for the Death Star on there. Yeah, he should. I have one of those. I can run up to the room and get it for him. I don't know if he'll be back in time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think his four shields are There Is No Try. Who else is commentating? Who, uh, Eric Hunter and Charlie Audenson. I'm just curious. I didn't know who was here. Oh, that's fine. Um, his four shields shield. are, <laughs> you, you might be a shield, I don't know. Uh, there is no try, the grabber, code clearance, and something I can't see. The, it's the immediate effect puller. Okay, fanfare, that makes sense, because he did pull, uh, what's his face? The, the enter the beer crap. Alright, so we're into Here Brad's we turn again. Okay, he didn't even let him recirculate before he just ripped that. <laughs> Alderan blows up, I think, with a five. <laughs> they're figuring it out now. They're going to spend longer counting if Alderan blows up than he Brad's going to spend for his entire turn. <laughs> it's it's like a third twelve. Yeah, Alderan blows up. It's so easy to blow up Alderan now. Yeah. Joe has to lose three. You have to draw a one or a two, I think. So under attack, Leia's gun, and a card for hand that I did not see. La uh, yeah, I think it's like speak. a Wisa or something. Who is speak? Okay. Who is speak. <clears throat> so now you can drain for plus two. Yep, right? so Joe pulls battle plan. Six damage is pretty sweet. And you drain for three. I mean, this is yeah, a deck that's built to beat main, so... Unless you're playing Menace Fades, and then you automatically lose. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, that's the point of the, the Maul and the Black Sun Fleet, is to suspend Menace Fades. Uh, Easy move during the control phase. Yeah. Okay. Clever. It'd be really sad if, you're, if they're playing uh, Qui-Gon Commuting, though. <laughs> Then it doesn't matter. You can get three battle, three Coruscant and or Death Star or Death Star. <laughs> I mean, even this, he goes to the audience chamber or he goes to the council chamber. He's got Death Star two site and he goes to the O two. He satisfies it. So is that the? I'm not gonna know Star Destroyers. That looks conquest. like the. Is it conquest? Okay, mm -hmm. it's something virtual. So conquest makes sense. Retrieves three force. Fear Tarkin will keep. Doc. No Tarkin doctrine. No longer fear oh. will keep them in line. I would be very worried if I was Joe. Yeah, that that's a lot of quick damage, right? You're going to be able to drain for three, three, and ping for two. Um, so in, in playing Joe, I do not remember seeing space. I did play against the deck twice. But I don't know. Yeah, Hostian Prime is going to be vital. Yeah, that's a fantastic card for this deck that I didn't even think about. Jeez. But you need a you need a the slot in like a <clears throat> a finalizer. A first order leader. Oh, okay. Well, maybe PV who you can pull with command. Mm -hmm. Or Hux who you can pull with command. Or Hux. But 
Hux is kind of mediocre because you can't. He doesn't do much. He, does Hux pull he, any he trooper? Just, yeah, he pulls a first order. No, oh, first order trooper. Okay. So Joe's next play is to get the battle planes down and occupy three. Yeah, he's got to get to the battle planes and to the uh, docking bay. So we can at least cut two damage off of that. And Brad playing fast and loose here, not even keeping a Star Destroyer at the uh, um, Death Star to protect Tarkin Doctrine. Right. Doesn't even care about Tanif. Don't even Boys care. To the Death Star. You know, it's a real ball buster is a uh, Death Star tractor beam. <laughs> That's a... All right, Charlie. Down. Calm down. <laughs> he can't pull it anymore. He's flipped. <laughs> well, when you're comparing it to Brad, he is a little slow. <laughs> All right, so Lando comes down to the 2-2. Two -two. Padme goes to the Death Star docking bay, and Joe will pull Ultimatum. So that will at least save him two. He did it. He did the thing. He did the thing. Smart is smart, too, because, you know, if he's anticipating Maul, Padme does not get hit by Maul. I don't know what much anger in him says. It's a, it's rebel. a rebel, right? And if it's Maul, you know, ability less than four. Right. I don't even know. It, it, it's obviously not the new mall, like the set 13 mall, whatever set number that was. Was it 13? Ability greater than 3. Uh, yeah, so it's yeah. probably Tatooine mall. It's got to be. He's the best one for this situation. For this deck. I could see Tatooine mall going to the 2 2 in this game. <laughs> that would be interesting. This is 8 damage, though. I mean, like. Well, it's it's 6 now. So it's two from Tarkin yeah, Doctrine and Drains of Two and Drains of Two. Right. But yeah, this is exactly what Brad wants to do. Mm -hmm. There's Forlom Virtual. Start throwing cards back. See, he just oh, drew it in Admiral's Order. I saw it. There it is. There's the Black Sun Fleet. <laughs> We're that much closer. I was digging for it. I mean, he's just drawing cards, right? Like, because he doesn't have to do anything. Um, what he can do now is uh, wait for Joe to pay six to drain her for four? Is that what you're going to do? Uh, it's only counterproductive if, it, if his text actually does work, yeah. But, uh, like, I, I, it's almost better if you just blank their presence, right? Because you can drain through them and stuff. But Joe drains for four, and Brad just deploys a Star Destroyer next turn and retrieves it. Yep. But yeah, maybe he's using a different Maul for that, because he doesn't want to... That's true. I that. mean, Lord Maul with Saber is also a very good Maul. Mm -hmm. I think he'd be more expecting, like, a Luke or something. <clears throat> it's a good meta call it's smart I think Brad's and choice. we were all pretty convinced Brad was going to stick with Rops because he played it yesterday he did well with it um, Joe even said I think that he thought Brad was going to stick with Rops I Jared, I think this is only a puzzle if Joe's play, plays any space at all. So Ahsoka comes down. It doesn't look like he's he's not at, he's not acting like there's one in his deck. Like he's Well, I mean Ray here makes sense. You spend the force with Ahsoka. And then he can shuttle them up into the Tantive. Well, not both, because he needs to satisfy... Oh, he will. Okay. 
Does if, fire I would actually have two icons of Tanta. Yeah, like. I would have two light side icons. Because it has one right oh, now. Oh, it has one right now? Exactly for it, but... Oh, there's a stick. I think that's what he pulled. Alright, so now you start with 8. 8 damage. This Jeez, <laughs> maybe Worf's is right about this 25 minute thing. Is anybody running the timer? I wouldn't be surprised if Brad is running Tarkin's orders um, to cancel dress port strains. Yeah. So ping 2 here for Brad. Brad's got very straightforward turns. Pay three, drain for two. Pay three, drain for two. Deploy a Star Destroyer, retrieve three. Mm -hmm. Say go. As as he can afford all of it. Three, four, five, six, seven. He can just barely afford all of it. Raise <laughs> your manium to put the card on the bottom for four alarm. There's a bridge, a little extra activation just to pay for everything. That'll help him for all of, uh, like, one turn. <laughs> but maybe it'll matter. That is Lord Sidious. He's kind of red. A little red hue to him. He is a little red. Lord City is about to get a little better with uh, some set 18 cards. That bridge is unnecessary now that he has... Uh... There's Mara. Battle with Mara against Padme. Wow, characters. Presumably swing at Padme. Four. Two or one. I don't know what the binder is. Finder's coming to hand one. anyway, so... Is it a one? Yeah, yeah it's, it's a one. one. No Wisa? So four. And a four. So Padme will be hit. Oh, nice. Uh, but Odin gets played. And then a five for Destiny versus a one for Joe. That's, that's not great. So nine to four... Well, that thank good thank God he Odin. I was gonna say well, yeah, saving Odin. Odin to get to like a, another location to drain, but that's a good that's smart. The destiny's minus one because of his objective, so Mary actually. Around. Oh boy, what even text is that? That text is disgusting. All it destinies are minus it's, one. It's Jesus. Global. Total, it's total. Global. Yeah, total too. Ugh. Gets around to everything. So, like, just killing your Star Destroyers can be tough, because they're all immune to four. Well, and so that makes them immune to five, effectively. Mm -hmm. Alright, so Joe activating on his turn here. I think I see a Mike French in the background there. Not a mile French, a Mike French. A councilman Mike French. Tell him he needs to become a state senator so we can pull him with Might of the Republic. Let's see, he's saving one, two, three, four, five, six. He's saving six. I think he wants to fight Lord Sidious. <laughs> That's tough to do. Is that the place out of play one, in it, or is it the um, exclude somebody? That's the exclude Seeds. somebody. Yeah, exclude. Darth Sidious is the is the out of play one. So, uh, Catwall, he does play a neighboring.
I mean, even if you, like, like move Luke to Mara, that's not even great, right? Like, maybe Ahsoka Lando to Sidious? Uh, I like probably. the idea of moving Luke. But then you lose your... Okay. So sorry about the mess here. Brad with no answer for it, but Joe draws 1-1. One, one. He has a gig in his hand, too, I just saw. Yep. Yeah, and I think he also is a Tarkin's bounty, so he has two ways to cancel neighboring. Oh, uh, yeah. Does Tarkin's bounty cancels neighboring? Can't neighboring to that site? Is that what it is? It just no, it's not Tarkin's bounty. It's Tarkin's orders. Order. Tarkin's orders, okay. Which got a V, actually. There's a V Tarkin's orders. And it's a combo card now, right? Yeah, with a dark time, I think. That sounds very good. And it cancels uh, uh, a smorgasbord of things. Is that a saying? Yeah. 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 I'll allow it. What's a, what's a smorgasbord? That's like a it's like a buffet. It, it's like it's a, a sampling of different things. Yeah. Like a Swedish. It's a Scandinavian <laughs> hors d'oeuvre platter. Yeah. The things you learn. Destiny 5 is not as good as Destiny 6, so it's fine. Yeah, Destiny 5. All right, so Joe drained for 2 and 2 that I saw. Brad has 27. Well, he just lost 2 or 3. And I think he lost one from hand. But yeah, 27. And he's threatening another six damage next turn. For free. So now retrieval just starts getting Yeah. Pumped out. And each each uh Star Destroyer he puts down will be retrieving three and then adding three to damage. You know what people don't play enough of in this deck? Here's Nabrin. Put put all sections on alert. Can you Na imagine if you have that right now? <laughs> Nabrin Luke for four. Luke would have no abil no game text or ability. Brad has two cancelers and will not cancel it. <laughs> He's thinking so hard about this. <laughs> Wait. He's just letting it happen. I mean that also pumps up his damage. He has he like he just takes a gick here. Right? Like you swing at Mara and miss actually He's no, fine plus with one. This. Yeah. He's yeah, he's fine with this because it turns off. It turns off ultimatum. Turns off ultimatum. You hit Luke. Wow, and he hit Luke. Yeah, you had to go after Sidious to kill the 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 free drains, right? It, that's smart. That's it's just it's smart. Smart of Brad. Yeah, yeah he should have definitely gone for Dark City, Lord Sidious. Maybe. So he traded uh, a card for the sorry about the mess. Draws a four for Destiny, so he's ten. Jeez. Oh, he's not even ten. He's minus one, but he's plus two from the, the hand, so he'll be eleven. And Brad drew a seven, so he's going to be eleven. He doesn't even have to use the kick. He could have swapped for that. Wow. Piece, uh, and then... That would take some foresight, though. Wow. I think that was... Lando goes break, out of play. Right? That was kind of desperate. He just really wanted to get the the sorry about the mess back, but why not just neighbor into cities to site and battle him and swing with Luke at plus one? So now Joe drains for, <coughs> or excuse me, Brad drains for three, three, and pings for two. Which blue card are we looking at? That's Alderaan. Oh. Tie Sentry Ships retrieves a ship into hand. Learning things. Takes the Vengeance. There's a Vengeance to the Death Star, and who will retrieve three cards? Jesus. Yeah, that's just... That's not even once so per turn, either. There's Binder. Binder... Nope for six and pay three 
Wow, look at the speed of the turn. Just demoralizing. <laughs> Just absolutely demoralizing. Oh. God, he plays so fast, too. How much force was that? That was... Well, so Visage... Is that Visage? That's Vengeance. Excuse me. Vengeance, vengeance. should be minus three, right? Yeah, so it's a four. And then Binder was six. Plus he paid three to retrieve. Or no, it's minus two. Is it minus so two? five, and then... It costs eight total for the thing and retrieval. And he's getting a life force count right now. The ships are minus three to the Death Star? I don't think Binder's minus three to the Death Star. What? No, it's minus two if they're Imperial, and minus one if they're Victory class. So it would have been eight force to retrieve with each one, and then it should have been four to retrieve with the TIE Sentry, right? Mm -hmm. So that would have been... There, yeah, Joe just concedes. 20 force. Yeah. Matt Thornton, where are we at on time? Unbelievable. Wow. <sighs> what an audible for Brad. Yeah, Mark. and uh, 2545, it was the over. Damn. All right, so Brad, Brad Reinhold moving to the finals to face the winner of the match between uh, Brian Fred and uh, Jeff Levine who I believe is still going on. I don't even... They were close to finishing game one um, right before we started this game. So... Yeah, that's fantastic. A medical. Kudos to Brad for that call, yeah. They finished game one already. They should have finished game one by now. But we yeah, are going to have... Also, everything went his way, too, which was nice. But I will double check and see if they have not started game two or not. I would expect they started game two already. Um, give me a minute, I'll go check. Yep, that's pretty brutal. Uh, Menace Fades. How you tech for that? Hey, guys. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Hey, I'm doing good. How are you guys? Good. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Uh, so I actually put Joe on Pyre because I played him with Rops yesterday. And they made a comment that they uh, took out all the Rops tech. So I figured they would put the Rops tech back in. Because uh, Rops is a great day two deck or day three deck, I guess it is. Is it day two or day three? I don't know. Day two now, yeah. Yeah, day two. Uh, Rops is a great day two deck. So I figured they would put me on that since I went 4-0 with it. And it's a really good deck. Um, I put Joe on Rops and uh, Pyre. And, like, in in a mostly ground deck, uh, Set Your Course is amazing. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that, that's, that seemed to kind of go your way, but, all, like, with the Destiny draws, but also, um, I just, I, I don't feel like he ever had a shot, right? Yeah. Not, you know, when he nab runned, what was going through your head? I mean, like, you had two cancels. I, I, I had right? the Gick in my hand. I had the Cancel in my hand. I'm like, I'm just going to kill Luke. My, my, my destiny is insane in this deck. Plus, it takes him off the resistance. Yep, and... yep, yep. And then he can't move yeah. Luke over. I'm okay with that. Yeah, that's uh, that was uh, impressive. So I heard you worked on that with Batmouse or something? I worked on it with Batmouse. I worked on it with Stubbly. And I worked on it with Brandon Beatty. I want to say a big thank you to Brandon Beatty because I got a lot of the tech for that deck from him. But in all fairness, I played Set Your Course a ton over Christmas. Yeah. Uh, yeah and it, it's, a, it's a good call, I think. I, I made that comment, like, with all the mains right now, um, just switching to that. Yeah. Seems like the right play. So. Did, did, could, you, um, did you run anything specific for today in it? Yeah, like, I'm, uh, so, so I'm your... running two Steadfast and Chirina. Because I figured they might only play one battleground. Joe was smart and played two, so that didn't work out well. But uh, yeah, too steadfast. Yeah, because at the uh, Death Star, if you drop it down early, it's a drain of five when you flip. Oh, that oh, sorry, that Star Destroyer, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I that 
that's one of the cooler plays that you can do. Um, and it only percent. deploys for five when you flip. Right. Yeah, I think it just doesn't draw on its own. It's only downside, right? No, it does. Oh, no, no, you're right. It does not. Yeah. But I didn't anticipate hardly any light side space. Right. Because the current wisdom today, or at least from talking to Joe and Hayes before the tournament, was that to have a good shot at ROPs and other decks like that, you have to play all ground. Right. Yeah, it's kind of the pickle that light side's in right now, is that trying to prepare for such a wide meta. Set your course has so many, or, or not set your course, dark side has so many good decks right now, it's really hard to tech. Well, so how do you feel going in the next into the finals then? Well, it depends on who I'm playing against and what they're playing. If they're playing the right cards, it it could be rough for set your course, but we'll see. Yeah. But yeah, I like yeah. I like the retrieval and the drains and the direct damage. I, I I feel like that's very strong. Yeah. How do you feel about that uh, that risk with set your course? Like you're okay with making that gamble today, or yeah, I. So I feel like you either go big or you go home. Uh, that's really what it comes down to. Sure, of course. <laughs> well, congrats. Thank that you. Was, uh, that was fun to watch. That was a very quick game. Yeah, yeah. Well, I like I said, I put him on Pyre, and so I had a game plan for that. If he'd played something else, it would have taken a little bit longer because I'd be having to think a lot more, but yeah. Yeah. Have you seen any of the new cards they released today? I haven't been online at all today, um, I but I'm on playtesting, so I have a good idea what, what they revealed. Man. All right, well, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys so much. Right. Yeah, good luck in the finals. Thank you.